Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to another move. So today we are going to be doing a 10 minute glute. We're gonna work on that booty. So whether you have a non-existent booty like I used to, or you feel like you have too much junk in the trunk, this workout is for you. It's gonna help with the lift and it's also gonna help to tighten and tone in only 10 minutes, zero equipment necessary, although we will be using a couple of things today. Optional, you can use a resistance band like this. It's gonna go around our legs right here, just above the knees. It'll be linked below in the description and you will also be wanting a chair for stability for a couple of the moves. As always, our exercise mat will also be linked below. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is place our resistance band around our legs, just above the knees, if you have one. If you don't, no problem, you will feel the burn without this. This is just if you wanna go a little bit more advanced. So, like I said, this is a 10 minute workout. So we've got 10 moves. Each move is gonna be 45 seconds on, followed by a 15 second rest period. Feel free to repeat it and make it 20 minutes, 30, 40, however long you want to go. I also recommend if you wanna include this 10 minute workout as part of a longer workout series, then I would highly suggest you do some sort of interval run, maybe on the treadmill. Let us know in the comments below if you wanna see our interval treadmill workout for the booty. Let's get going. Starting at one side of the room, we are going to be squatting down and doing side shuffles. Here we go, four steps to the right, and four steps back to the left. So we are not quite at a 90 degree bend with those legs, but we are close to it. Remembering throughout this workout to keep your core tight and of course focus on those glutes because we all know where the focus goes the energy flows remember to breathe inhale and exhale looking good we're almost there great job 15 second rest Next move is going to be front and back glides. Catch your breath here. Bringing those feet to touch in the middle. Glide back and forward. So you will be feeling this in your legs as well as your glutes, primarily in your quads. But that is why we really want to direct our focus to our glutes. Whatever muscle group we're working on is the one you really want to be cognizant of, aware of each and every muscle in that region, working hard. Great job, 15 second rest. Grab your chair for stability for the next four moves. Right leg, we're doing leg lifts. Make sure that your core is tight. I constantly have to remind myself. Your toe is pointed towards the floor. Really focusing on that upward pressing motion and you've got a slight bend in the knee of this standing leg. You don't want it locked out. Slightly bent. You can really feel this here. Looking good. A few seconds left. We're gonna stay on that right leg for the next move. Okay, shake it out quick. Now we're going to do side leg lifts. Again, sticking with that right leg to really get that burn. Here we go. Straight out to the side, toe is pointed. That leg is still facing forward, head on. Try not to lean too much into that standing leg. Try to keep your core towards the middle of your chair or balancing apparatus. <laughs> that 
core is still tight. Focusing on that side booty in both cheeks. Here we go. We're getting close. Hang in there. Four, three, two, and rest. All right, switching over to this left leg. The left leg will be pulsing directly back. Are you ready? Here we go. Again, slight bend in that standing leg. This will protect your joints. Super important to always be aware of protecting your body as you're moving. If anything ever starts to hurt, not just muscles, but joint pains, take it a little easy. But if you're feeling the burn in those glutes, we want that kind of pain. That's a good pain. It's a good sign. As soon as it starts to burn, you are starting to grow. You're going to get the results you want to achieve. We're almost done here. Keep pulsing up, focusing on driving up. Nice job. Left leg again, pulsing out to the side. That leg is still going to be facing forward. Get ready for it. Here we go. That toe is pointing down. Again, making sure not to dump too much weight in that standing leg. Of course, you're going to fall into it just a little bit, but that's why we want to try to prevent any more than what is already happening. Come back to that breath. Remember, inhale, exhale, breathe through each and every move. Really feel that burn in that standing glute right now. This is great for lifting and toning that side booty. Three, two, one. All right, set aside that chair. Next move we are doing is squat jumps. So we're back in that bent knee position. Follow me. Our feet are just wider than hip distance, shooting through those toes. This is less about height and more about that oomph, that intensity driving you up. I'm doing this in my basement. I don't have a ton of room and I don't want to hit my head. <laughs> Hopefully you have a higher ceiling. Keep it up. Now we're starting to get into cardio here as well. That's what we want. That's gonna help us to burn that excess fat. Nice job. Woo. We're gonna head down to the mat with glute bridges. For this move, we're gonna do half on the right, half on the left. Right leg is up and you want the quads to be parallel. So none of this, none of this, directly parallel. That core is tight, you're breathing. Get ready to switch, left leg. Make sure you're driving through the heel of that foot on the floor, really pressing into the heel That'll help you to feel more of the burn in the right area. Bring the attention back to the glutes. We're almost there, you guys. Woo! Great job. All right, we're gonna flip it over. And now we're going to do heel presses. Starting with that right foot. Pressing that heel up to the sky. Again, we're gonna divide this time equally between the right and the left. Press, press. That core is tight. You're focusing on the muscle groups that you're activating. Three, two, switch sides. Left, 
pressing up. This is all about that upward thrust, not so much the downward press. Looking good, we're close. One move left after this. All right, great job. This is our last and final move, squat jacks. Back in that squatting position. Here we go, in and out. We're not coming up in between like this. We're staying low. All right, can we go a little bit lower? Really push hard here, this is it. Try a little bit lower. You got this. This is final, this is it, you guys. Give it everything. Focus on those glutes. Here it is. Come on. Almost there. Woo. Woo. I hope you guys are feeling it. I know I am. That was an awesome burn. So if you want this to be part of a longer workout, I suggest repeating this once through to make it 20 minutes and then following it up with some sort of interval run. So a great thing to do is an interval run on the treadmill for your booty. I've got one of those in the works. If you guys are interested in a video like that, let me know in the comments below. If you guys like what you just saw from Aaron and you'd like to see my workouts with some minimal equipment, things you can still do at home, let us know in the comments below. <laughs>